What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to your weekly waiver wire pickups. This week is going to be kind of tough, but don't worry. We still have a lot of great options here for you guys, especially some great streaming options. Before we do get into the video, I do want to remind you all that we are giving away a Darren Bland autographed mini helmet. It is right here beside me. It is autographed, letter of authenticity with it. Cowboys mini helmet. I don't know how else to describe it, but you have to be subscribed in order to enter. We will be releasing a YouTube short hopefully today. So go out there, look at our page, find our most recent YouTube short. All you have to do is like that video and comment done. That will automatically enter in this giveaway and we will be announcing the winner this next Monday. But let's get right into it, you guys. We do have some quarterbacks out here. And really, I think there are two streaming quarterbacks that you should go out and get. First one up, we do have Sam Howe. He is owned in 40% of leagues, so he's out there. He is available, and he's had three straight weeks with 18-plus points for fantasy football. Now this upcoming week, in Week 7, he is going up against the New York Giants, who don't have the strongest defense. They actually give up a lot of points to fantasy quarterbacks. Up next, we do have Derek Carr from the New Orleans Saints. He is getting healthier and healthier. And like I said, once he starts or once he finally gets healthy, he's going to look really good for fantasy football. He is owning 28% of the league, so he's out there for sure. He is available. And now he's starting to get real comfortable with his targets, especially with a certain tight end that we'll be talking about later on in this video. Let's jump into running backs over here. This first one let's talk about. Let's talk about Zach Evans. Okay, this is not the most popular pick over here, but this week it just might be. He's owning 5% of leagues, and that's for a reason. He is the fourth string running back. But just like Chicago last week, Los Angeles Rams may be missing everyone in the backfield. They're going to be out with Kyron Williams, and they're going to be out Rivers as well. So that leaves Evans as the only running back for that team. If he is, he has to be the bell cow of that offense. Go out there, see if he's available, and pick him up. Up next, let's talk about Kareem Hunt. Finally, we see this guy coming off a of bye week and getting some starting reps against Jerome Ford. Now, do I believe he's going to come out here and be the solidified starter? No, I don't think so. I do feel like they are going to be splitting that backfield between him and Jerome Ford. Maybe we see a difference towards the end of the season. But if you have room in your roster, this is a guy who you want to pick up. Up next, let's talk about Craig Reynolds. We have another injury problem over here in Detroit. Montgomery is going to be missing a little bit of time while Gibbs is uncertain to play this upcoming week. Now, if and only if both those players are out, that's where you need to go out there and get yourself some Craig Reynolds because this offense goes through the running back position, whether you like it or not. I know Amon Ron is a freaking sun god. That's okay. But if both those running backs are out, you're going to want Craig Reynolds on your roster and starting. And if you all want to see more players and you want to see a sheet that looks like this, I give this out every single week on our Discord. The link is in the description. It's an absolutely free app that all of our subscribers get to hang out in and ask us questions. We answer them. doesn't matter what time of day or what time of night. We will get to every single question. Let's jump into some wide receivers. Number one, I feel like I have to talk about this guy, right? Let's talk about Curtis Samuel. We've now seen back-to-back -back games where he's had a touchdown, and many may argue that last week he was only relevant because of that touchdown. But going forward, we are going up against the New York Giants here, and it's kind of favorable for Curtis Samuel. I mean, we see Sam Howell. He's a good streaming option because of the defense, because he likes to throw the ball. Why not give Curtis Samuel an, a shot while he's out there if you're in the deep league and we have a lot of teams on by, by the way. Another guy I want to talk about is Rashid Shahid. Now, I know this is not who everyone's talking about, but he is only owning 27% of leagues. We have talked about Derek Carr getting his rhythm back, right? And this guy got six targets last week. Now, with Derek Carr coming back, getting healthy, he started to look like a good option, especially for one of those deep leagues. Like I said, if you're in a 14-man league or in a 12-man league with a super flex, this could be a good guy to pick up and have on your roster. I'm going to jump into tight ends. We do have some more wide receivers, but if you want access to that, join us on our live stream tonight or join our Discord. Let's jump into our tight ends. We only got two like we do every single week. Let's talk about Jonu Smith. I'm kind of shocked here. I wasn't always like the Jonu Smith guy because I don't like that offense in Atlanta. But this guy's only 24% of leagues, and he is 
he hasn't had a game with less than five targets besides week one. I'm not counting week one, okay? So he hasn't had a game with less than five targets. And with this type of season, with these tight ends over here being super scarce the way they are, this guy needs to be on a roster. He just has to be, especially the way Desmond Ritter's been playing uh, as of recent. Hopefully he keeps it up. I got Drake Lennon in a couple of leagues. I need him to keep up the productivity. Up next, let's talk about Michael May Meyer Mayer. My, I kind I want to say Michael Myers because it's October, you know, spook fest. But this guy is only 12% of leagues, and it looks like he finally woke up in that offense. But very similarly to Jacoby Myers, see Michael Myers, you know, now you get where I get confused, right? But uh, very similar to Jacoby Myers, this guy may be reliant on Jimmy G being the quarterback. This guy had six targets, and he scored quite a bit of points last week, but that was really when Jimmy G was playing. He did go to the hospital with a back injury. X-rays came back negative, so it's looking okay, but we don't know if he's going to be missing some time as of the time of this recording. So go out there. He could be a good option for you. They are going to be against Chicago, who don't have the greatest defense out there. Michael is available. If you're desperate, if you got players on the, on the bye week, Go out there and get this guy. Now, in our final segment, let's talk about some streaming options for the defense. Now, these are the guys. I, lately, I've been kind of hitting on defense. So I'm, I'm pretty excited here. Um, I'm going to start off with the Jacksonville Jaguars against the New Orleans Saints. You want to hit up the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're kind of on a roller coaster. Hey, am I good? Am I not good? But, hey, their defense is pretty solid. And we've kind of seen some inconsistencies when it comes to who the, the targets are going to. I know we talked about some guys on that team, uh, actually almost in every position, but Jacksonville Jaguars do have a solid defense. Uh, next up, we have the Raiders and the Bears. Let's go out there and get me some Raiders. They have a decent defense, I would say, you know, a good pass rush, but the Bears are still trying to figure out offensively. I wasn't fooled. And with an injured Justin Fields, this looks very good. Up next, let's go to the Browns and the Colts. Okay, the Browns defense is no joke. Okay, and I'm tired of hearing it, so I'm I don't want to hear the comment section. <laughs> but these guys are good. They're gonna go out there and they just might manhandle the Colts. You're gonna want these guys on your team. Uh, final defense I have streaming for this week is the Steelers at the Rams. Go out and get yourself some of the Rams. They did very well last week, multiple interceptions going up against the Steelers coming off a of bye who may have a little rust. I'm not too confident in the Steelers offense. The Rams could produce some points for you. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you found this useful, make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. And until next time, keep on grinding.